Hey everybody, welcome back. Another week means another video. And in this one, we'll have a look on the server side rendering of Next.js and how to figure out if the content that is rendered was actually rendered on the server or not. Check it out. I'm more than sure that some of you can relate to that issue. You have a big application with lots of components and you wanna know if the server side rendering of Next works correctly for all of them. And especially not just like, oh yeah, the page is rendered, but also is all the content that I want to see coming from the server is actually coming from the server. I've prepared a little example how to dig into that and ensure that the content is really server rendered. Let's have a look. Instead of having a little application, I just go through that on my own website. The code is also open source. You can try it out yourself. And what happens here is, we have certain elements like the nav bar a notification down here, the text, and we want to check if some of them are server rendered. There is a very easy guideline to do that. First of all, you want to see is the whole site server rendered. And one way to do that is you open your dev tools, your browser dev tools, go to console, and then you use window underscore underscore next underscore underscore. More about what that is in another video dot server rendered. And you also see already the console, the dev tools are hinting it already. True, which means the whole site is server rendered. Great. So now we know at least this is not excluded by some route rules, or there are also a few other ways how to ensure the site is not server rendered. More about that in a linked blog post. But what content of it is actually server rendered? Is all of that that we see here rendered on the server or not? And the easiest way on doing that is to use the view source option in your browser. So you can do right click and then view page source. And everything that's listed right here in this long thing, this is server rendered. Also, if you don't want to check if the site is server rendered through the console, you can also have a look right here and check for data SSR. And if this is actually set to true, so let's search it for true, we see it over here, then it's all good, that works, it's server rendered. If it would be to set to false, then it would not be server rendered. Okay, but it still doesn't give us the info to figure out what content is server rendered. And well, now if we know all of this, what's coming in here is rendered on the server, well, we can just search for stuff. We can, for example, just search for Let's say the text here. Hey, I'm Alex, the web engineering consultant. Let's copy that, search it, and we see, oh yeah, it's found right here. Perfect, great. And the best part is to test that, you don't even have to check every component. You just need to know what content it is that you wanna search for. So that works. If we check the nav bar, let's search for contact. Ah oh, yeah, about contact, that's the link. The next one is the actual contact text. So also this is right in here, that fits. And the last thing we can check is the notification down here. So we can take the text in German, says, I also speak German, ich spreche auch Deutsch. Ja, Sie Deutsch sehr gut. We copy it and see, oh, no, that's, that's not rendered on the server. Which kind of makes sense because for these who've checked the stream, this is implemented for using Navigator uh, and that's only a browser specific API. So you have to render that on the client only. But yeah, that's a quick way to ensure that your content actually is rendered on the server side. And I can tell you that's usually how I suggest to debug these issues as well. So if you have next time an API call and want to make sure, okay, is that really rendered on the server side? Ensure that the content you render appears in here for view source. You can also do the same in development. You don't have to do it with live site, but it also works with live site here. All in all, that's it. I hope that the quick tip helps you a lot with debugging your Nuxt SSR application. If there are any questions left, you know, as usual, please drop them down below in the comments. I'll watch them. And I hope you will watch the next video as well. Have a great day, evening, or whatever time it is when you're watching. And don't forget, Happy hacking. See you in the next video.